things that I like to do when I'm in a box blind. I like to have a small shooting bag with me. And sometimes I'll even go bigger, but I just carry it in my backpack to put in the different windows that I think I'm going to shoot up. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not going to be shooting out one of these other windows, but this is my primary window, so I keep it set up right here. It's quiet, set the gun on, gives me a good rest for longer distance shots. When I do get in a box blind, some of the other things I do is I kind of set it up where my gun is leaning up against something. I'm going to have my rangefinder out to where I can you know, quickly pop off some distances before then. And, you know, my backpack with my water and any other supplies will be readily available as well. You know, when you get into these box blinds, it's a whole different type of hunting that, that I really, really enjoy. I also like to use... Uh, either you know camo tarps or some of the different products that come with the blind to black out certain windows to, so you're not skylighted all the time i think that's really important um, especially like if you're hunting on a food plot and you know that the front action is going to be in these five windows well then black out two or three in the back that allows you to be able to move and bob and weave in there a little bit and, and for our standpoint the camera guy's always moving because if he's not moving to get the shot i mean y'all don't even see what happens so you want those capabilities and abilities uh, in there and then the the ability to open and close windows silently and securely is, is really a key deal at the end of the day it's something that a lot of people don't think of that i think is really important you want to be able to lock those windows up and doors up um, airtight when you're gone so undesirable creatures are not in your blind uh, when you get back there